Now, I would be first to accept that I'm not a natural athlete. But when I decided to go for a quick run one evening in the spring, I had no reason to believe that it may well have been the last thing I would ever do. I had experienced no pain or discomfiture at any point in the days leading up to this happening. I had no sense of being unwell and had no underlying, underlying issues which led me to believe that I was at particular risk. It was a bolt out of the blue. There were cuts on my face because it was instantaneous. I wasn't even able to break my fall. When this happens, the person needs immediate help, immediate CPR and the use of a defibrillator. But we know that both of those things can be frightening and intimidating for any bystander. I was unconscious before I had any understanding of what was happening to me. There's no time to call for help. Tom wrote me an email which explained what happened. And let me say it in his words. When I arrived at the scene, they were already giving you CPR. All seemed frantic but organized. To make use of myself, I offered to direct the ambulance in. A frantic dog walker told me they couldn't locate the de defibrillator as directed to them by the 999 operator. I knew locating the defibrillator was critical, so I sent my mind to finding one. A very nice lady on the security desk at the college handed it over with minimal questions asked. I then rushed back with it. The adrenaline was coursing and I was too squeamish to do it myself, but your friend knew what to do. She had obviously had training. And it was that training, presiding officer, that saved my life and which enables me to make the speech today.